What I'd like to show you today is some new features that are available in Axiom 2010, which are really nice for engineers who need to make planar antennas. 2010 uh, now supports antenna patterns. Uh, all the patterns are available. And of course, we also uh, support viewing the currents uh, on the antennas as well as the electric fields. The second thing I'm going to show you today is Axiom's ability to solve large problems. This antenna array that you're seeing right here is 82,000 unknowns and would be virtually impossible to solve uh, with a direct solver. And we'll uh, study that in this video and see how the iterative solver can help us. And the final thing I'm going to be showing you today is how Axiom is integrated into the design environment of Microwave Office so that the EM simulator, the layout, and the schematic are tightly tied together and the designer can seamlessly switch uh, from one to the other. So let's go ahead and get started. I'd like to start by illustrating the antenna uh, measurements that are now available in Axiom 2010 using what's called a Sierpinski gasket dipole antenna. Now if you don't know what that is, the, the way you make one is you start with this simple bow, bow tie dipole that you see here. There is no ground plane below it, this is just out in free space. You then put a triangular hole in each side of the dipole. And we continue on. So at the next level of doing this, we get more triangular holes. This is what's called a self-similar structure. You can keep adding these holes at new levels of hierarchy. And we'll go one more here before we simulate. And this is what our final antenna is going to look like. Now, why on earth would you want to do this? Well, the reason is, is if we look at the uh, input impedance for this antenna, we get this. And you see, because it's a self-similar structure and looks essentially the same at higher frequencies, we get multiple input resonances for the antenna. Uh, if you look at the blue curve, that would be the standard bow tie dipole. And notice with the uh, magenta curve, this would be the first triangle cut out. You'll see you get there's this higher order resonance uh, going on. And then we can keep going. So this is how we get this third resonance up at 19.5 gigahertz or so. Now, what we can now do uh, to show that further is uh, I will go ahead and show the currents. And here we have the currents. And I go ahead and start the animation. And we can see the current uh, flowing out from the source of the antenna, the feed, uh, out along the antenna. And it's essentially exciting the antenna in the half wavelength resonance. Now, for fun, what I'm going to do is take the variable tuner that you now see, and I'm going to stop the animation, and I'm going to go ahead and switch to the third frequency, which is the highest frequency, and start the animation. And what you'll notice is that the antenna, the currents, are now much more concentrated near the feed but look about the same except for the scale. So this is why the gasket is, uh, antenna is working the way it is. I mentioned that we have uh, the standard antenna measurements. I'll just go ahead and show you a couple of those very quickly. And what you see here is the uh, E theta measurement. And let me go ahead and bring one of those up bring it over here for you to see. And you can see we have the antenna measurements, in this case the E theta. We can do left-hand circular polarization, right-hand circular polarization, total power, axial ratio measurements, uh, pretty much all the standard measurements that you would want to make. Uh, what I'm showing you right here in this pattern is the blue curve is the uh, E theta measurement in the f with the phi equals zero plane. That would be along the x-axis. And again, it's a, essentially a bow tie antenna, and you get the classic dip dipole pattern. The other two curves that you see are when we excite the second and third resonances of the antenna. 
as I showed you before. And you again get the dipole pattern, of course, with some higher order effects.